all right what's going on everybody and i am doing a video test on the fujifilm xs10 so pretty much what i wanted to get here is some uh just a little testing of some footage for you guys if you're checking out this camera um, to do some video work with so hopefully this will give you a good idea of some test footages right now i am currently at the shutter speed of 125 uh, aperture is 3.2 and my ISO is on auto but right now it's at 200 um, so yeah pretty much that's going to be it I hope my voice doesn't sound too loud I might have to um, adjust that a little bit in post but um, hopefully this just give you some idea of what everything really looks like this is going to be the Provia um, simulation um, I'm also going to include some test shots as well so you can see that and get a good idea of what the breathing looks like for the lens and also the lens that I'm currently using is the 18 to 55 millimeter lens. This is going to be the lens that has the variable aperture from 2.8 to 4.0. So I decided to use this lens simply because it is a kit lens that you can buy with the camera body and I thought that would be best to check out so that way you guys can you know start recording if you decide to go with this camera right here. And also, you guys, if you want to stay tuned as well, I do have the review coming up very soon. Um, so hopefully you guys consider subscribing for that. So yeah, pretty much this is going to be my first time using an external mic and recording on my camera. Let me know what you guys think about that as well. I'm also going to do a separate video for video settings as well as photo settings of what I have been uh, taking pictures of as well as you know doing some video work now as I'm getting comfortable with the camera um, I'm finding more of my you know way around the camera so it's going to be pretty interesting to see of what I learned about this camera here so this lens definitely adjusts very well as far as like um, exposure and I find that to be pretty cool so another thing I need to mention here is that I am not using an ND filter um, or a filter of any kind because if you can tell it's not bright out whatsoever the sun is actually going down right now so due to that there was no need for me to use a filter and plus I want to you know not use any filters at this time get familiar with the lens you know adjustments of any video work um, and you know any other camera settings that I need to make when I'm not using any filters I am in manual mode so I decided to use this mode so I can have complete control over the camera settings here um, but yeah pretty much so far so good so so far the camera just have a slight warmth to it nothing crazy nothing to barely even talk about um, but yeah so far so good one thing I want to insert here is the ibis so earlier you may have seen that the footage is not as stable but right here you can tell that this is a bit more stable hopefully you can tell that um, I have the IBIS on uh, OIS and I had to boost image stabilization um, in the settings and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a separate video but pretty much here hopefully you can see the footage is a little bit better and it's a lot more stable versus a little bit earlier so that should give you some idea of how IBIS is and if you need to boost the image stabilization as well so hopefully you can tell the difference in the image stabilization booster versus just ibis and ois on so yeah you're not able to turn the ibis off by the way um, just in case you were looking to uh, know that so the second thing i'm going to mention is the battery life so currently the battery that is used is a little bit smaller versus like the one that's used in the st4 you're going to need at least around two batteries with you at all times that's what i recommend and that's usually what i'm going to keep on me if i decide to record and take stills so i wanted to include some flaring you can't really tell much because the sun is a little far back but this lens has a pretty you know relatively controlled flaring um, it's kind of a little difficult to tell again because the sun is a little bit behind the trees but hopefully that gives you an idea right there so really quickly we're going to do some rolling shutter here
So hopefully you're able to see the rolling shutter. It's actually to a minimum pretty usable in video. So one more thing I want to include is I'm going to try to do some autofocus testing here. So I will um, insert some clips in for you guys to look at. Um, let me know what you guys think. So far, I think the autofocus is really great and it's definitely setting some high standards. And I can say that it's competing with other brands such as Sony, Canon, other brands that are doing very well in the autofocus world. And if you don't know this, I definitely learned this from um, another YouTuber. Fujifilm gets their sensors from Sony. So Sony makes their sensors. So the autofocus should be there anyway. However, it's definitely have came a long way from previous generations of their cameras. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. I hope you found this video test very helpful. Um, I look forward to definitely sharing more with you guys. So hopefully you consider subscribing, give this video a thumbs up, as well as leave me a comment. Let me know. I'm definitely still new to all of this, but I'm definitely still in the process of learning of a lot of things. Um, so just trying to make myself a little bit more knowledgeable as well as share things as I'm learning them. If you know someone who's interested in doing some video work with this camera right here, hopefully you share the video with them as well and they find the video helpful. Other than that, I um, hope you guys enjoying this beautiful view that I have going right now. It's really nice. The sun has, it's still setting, but it's a little bit better over here. You get more like some vivid colors as well. Again, this is the Provia standard uh, film simulation. This is the film simulation that I used. Um, I haven't tested out any other film simulations that will be coming in a separate video. But other than that, I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace.